Hello, Internets. My name is Johnny Womack, and of course, I got my main man. Deuce, what's going on, man? Hey, we are joined by a special guest here at the Happy Hour with Johnny and Deuce. We have Wonder Woman. How you doing? What's going on, guys? Hey. Uh, wow. So this is your first time at Sci-Fi Saturdays? Yes, it is. It's our first time as well, and it's uh, been a fun ride. I bet you've met a lot of interesting people here today, huh? A lot of really neat people, yes. Yeah, there's a... Uh, the weather has been amazing. We couldn't, I mean. Yes, my tent blew away earlier. Oh, did it really? <laughs> hers, <laughs> hers, yeah, hers went up right up before ours went up because yeah. Sean was in the process of tying hers down when ours almost flew off. Oh, no. With all this equipment, which would have been bad news bears. Yeah, it was a little bit windy for sure. And it wasn't my tent, so I wasn't like, oh, no, my tent, but my new banner is tied to it. So I was like, yeah. oh, no, my banner. Oh, no. <laughs> It's gone. Trust me, we just got done doing that and buying new banners and everything. And man, yeah. I understand that feeling. It's like, no. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what is your real name, Wonder Woman? Claire Davis. And how long have you been cosplaying for? I have been costuming for a very long time. Uh, the whole cosplay thing, I've been doing for a few years now. It's still relatively new to me. Mm -hmm. And uh, is your favorite Wonder Woman? Do you have a favorite? Um. You do a lot because you you were. Yes. Let's yeah. just preface this. Claire does, like she makes her own stuff. Like as you can see here, I mean, she makes some amazing work. And it, well, thank you, thank you. Yeah, and of course it's like, you know, there, there's nothing wrong with someone going online and buying something, you know. But it, there's something to say about like custom made stuff, stuff that you make with your own. There's a lot of labor and love put into that, yes. you know. And it, there's it's describe that process. Like, hey, I got an idea. I I want to make something. What is that process like? Well, um, the whole concept started for me uh, when I was really young and I was doing theater and choir and stuff when I was in school. So I needed costumes for things and I didn't like the stuff that you had in the stores. And even back then, Party City didn't really have much to offer. So I started hand sewing things and trying to make things the best I could. And then I got more involved when I uh, got, I moved back here and I got a sewing machine and started uh, just kind of figuring it all out, trying to look stuff up on YouTube and whatnot, and just playing around and messing up a lot, <laughs> and then fixing the mess ups and learning how to not do that again. <laughs> how long have you been sewing for? I have been sewing uh, since I was in middle school. Oh wow! Okay, for a while then. This is, it's been a few decades here. That I'm gonna, not a few, but you know, like a couple. Well, because you probably get people all the time because like there, people are artists like I, c I consider this art and like people have like oh I want to cosplay is, or costuming or however your phrase is there. You want you want to be able to do these things in your brain but some people don't have the skills or they've never learned to sew. I bet you get right. people coming to you all the time. Hey, can you make something for me? Like, oh yeah. What's oh, that like? Oh my most uh, popular request is hey can you help me? <laughs> can you help me? Help me? <laughs> help. <laughs> it's like there was a time when I was helping people right. so that I could learn myself, right. but I've kind of passed that point years ago. So. <laughs> well, it's a lot of work too because you know mm -hmm. you've got your own schedule that you've got to deal with, your own yes. jobs, your own you know own cosplay you have to do, and then someone goes, oh well, help me, and then you realize, well, that that's not worth my time. I mean, you want to help someone out, be nice, but. Yes. A, there's extra costs involved. I bet you've done it. Uh, well, you don't have enough material, right. or they run out and you have to go out and buy stuff. Yes. Like, I hear stories like that all the time. And Well, the point is, is that once they realize how in-depth all of this really is, then they realize, why well, I would love to help everyone, but it's exhausting and taxing. And there are a lot of things that I'm doing for myself or for other people that are my clients mm -hmm. or, you know, even just a regular day job or charity work that I do. I'm, I'm pretty busy. Yeah. yeah. I Definitely. keep busy. <laughs> so, are you prefer DC over Marvel, or do you like both? What's your? <laughs> you know, it's so funny how entering the cosplay world is just a whole world is exactly what it is, and then you get into that whole involvement of well, which is better, Star Trek, Star Wars, DC, Marvel, back and forth, blah blah. Well, honestly, I'm a big movie fan. I love movies, and that was the start for me with costuming. So. The comic book world is still new to me, and I'm still trying to catch up and figure everything out. And I don't really have a favorite because of that. I did grow up more around Superman and Batman because they had movies first. Mm -hmm. But then Marvel came out, and I enjoyed those too. And I right. got to learn which characters I want to read about. And I like them both, but obviously, if I had to pick a favorite character, so I guess my favorite's DC. Okay, there you go, <laughs> DC. Uh, 
Wow, uh, this is current topical news that just happened a couple days ago. We got the new photos of Aquaman leaked from Batman vs. Superman. Uh, thoughts on that? Oh, man. <laughs> Jay, I told everyone Jason Momoa is going to kill it. And all of my friends, they didn't believe me. And then the picture comes up, and I said, see? That right there. Yep. It was an awesome look. Uh, Zack Snyder, of course, is uh, behind the director's chair on that. And, uh, of course, we... we I want to get your thoughts on um, Ben Affleck as Batman. Yay or nay? Or are you undecided? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer that topic okay. with, with this whole because it's you know it, it always follows with the other questions of everyone else on there too. Right. I didn't have any doubts in Ben Affleck. I know a lot of people got really upset about it, but I mean I really haven't seen anything that I thought was so horrible of him. He's a good actor, and he's not going to. I don't think he's going to do anything to embarrass himself as Batman. I think he'll do what he needs to do for that role and do really well at it. Just like I was saying, you know, I, obviously the Superman that's on there is so fantastic. I mean, I really, really love what they've done with him in the new one. Mm -hmm. And I know there's a lot of controversy there, and I think he's fantastic. Um, the only person that I was actually somewhat worried about was the person they casted as Wonder Woman. <laughs> and it's not because yeah. of anything yeah, personal. Too. Yeah, yeah. It's just the fact that her figure... The way that she holds herself in photos that I've seen of her, it's not a very demanding presence. Yeah. And it's not a very strong presence. And that's all I want. If they can make her do that, then I'm fine. But that has to be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got You've got to. You've got to be able to uh, be the life of the room. You've got to be able to command. You've got to be able to have a presence about you that you can't mm -hmm. really fake. You can't. Either you have it or you don't. Either you are. Either you have that and people can see right away, or you can act really well and fake it. Like I said, we haven't seen the final product yet, but it, yeah, I mean, I- Oh I, yeah, you only get a second. That's it. You get that second for yep. that impression, and then if yep. it's not there, it's gone. You lose them. Uh, ben Affleck, I've been a supporter of his uh, forever. Uh, I, you know, you people, people have, whenever they go back to Ben Affleck and say they don't like Ben Affleck, they say two reasons, two reasons. They say uh, Pearl Harbor, the movie Pearl yeah, Harbor, yeah. Which is he didn't make that movie, not his fault. Uh, okay. Movie, it's a flop, I guess technically. Uh, and then of course they go back to Daredevil. Yeah, uh, not really, I loved. Not really I his fault either. Yeah, I was. Neither like, did it's I. A good the movie director's movie cut is, is amazing. Yeah. If you have not yeah. seen the director's cut, it's like a totally different movie. But I, I always go back and go look at Hollywood Land. He was phenomenal. Hollywood Land. Look at uh, Argo, amazing in Argo. Look at, I mean, he's he. He is solid. I, I think, he, and also Gone Girl. People were saying how amazing he was in that. Like that's Bruce Wayne, Gone Girl. This character that. So people, were, once Gone Girl came out, people were like, "Oh, all yeah. right, I get it." Mm -hmm. And they've seen photos of him. He's, he's getting in really good shape now. Like he, the dude will work his butt off to get in shape physically. So they don't have to worry about the physical look. The dude has a nice, you know, Bruce Wayne like chin. He's got the jawline, the mm -hmm. really deep jaw. The dude's charming. I mean, I. He's, he's got dark. the confidence. He's for got it. the yeah, confidence yeah. for sure. He can do so. it. I, I have no. I have total faith in him. Yeah. I think he'll do great. So big, big supporters of Ben Affleck here on the Happy Hour with Johnny and Deuce. <laughs> uh, so what has been your take from today, from the Sci-Fi Saturdays? Like, what has been like your favorite moment today? If you have to, I know it's a lot, but if you have to pick one. Well, the day's still going. I'm waiting to be a judge in the costume contest. That's right. That's great. coming up. Yeah. Awesome. And so. uh, also, I did a panel earlier with the A to Z uh, cosplay. Yes, A to Z cosplay. Awesome. Some friends of mine. That's great. And uh, that was a nice panel. Um, it was a little unprepared because I just kind of got tossed up there the minute before. Right. But you know, it, right. it was still good, and yeah. we had a lot of interaction for people listening. Um, uh, I gotta say, it's just mostly the people coming to see me at my booth. I've had a lot of different people come up, really excited to talk to me, and mm -hmm. kids just. So excited to be here! It's it's been great. Well, that's what Deuce and I said earlier. It's like yeah. it's so nice to know that there's a generation that still likes things like somebody's going to carry mm -hmm. the nerd flag. Exactly. When we're not here anymore. Exactly. You know what I mean? yeah. Someone yeah. needs to continue yeah. this. Yeah. Exactly. Somebody's got to continue the bloodline. I call that good parenting. Yeah. I totally agree. I have two kids of my own. My son's five. My daughter's two, and they both have like you know Wonder Woman and and Superman pajamas. This because the parents bought them. Thank you very much. Good I'm job. the one that. Decided to be like, I even bought him like a little, like, and he doesn't know it's super limited edition, but there's mm -hmm. like these little uh, Lego minifigure uh, Comic Con exclusives from last year. A part of me is like, oh, God, he's going to want to open them. Because think about it, when you're a kid, you uh -huh. don't understand these things, right? No. You don't understand. You want to play with it. You want to play with it. So I'm like, I don't know if I should give it to him now or when he's older. Here's what you do you Here's give him the box. <laughs> 
the kid play with it. Come on now. play with the box because that's all they wanted anyways, right? Yeah, that's true. That's a good point. So now I'm debating on if I should give it to him older, but he loves Legos right now. But who knows? I mean, he just, even me, I have a hard time. As I'm older, I understand the idea of if things have an intrinsic value to them. But it's also, things are worth how much people will pay for them. Yeah, right? So that's, that's true. That's very end. true. So, yes. I mean, something can be worth $10,000, but who's going to pay $10,000 for it? So, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, it's, I don't know, it's interesting. But I bet, I've, I love, I love uh, some of the photos you put on uh, your Facebook page. Why don't you plug that real quick? Your Facebook page? Oh, yes. Uh, my fan page is uh, facebook.com slash Wonder Woman Claire. Wonder Woman Claire. And then I do have a website. It's wonderwomancosplay.com. Awesome. And you can follow me on any of those. I'm always posting pictures of my latest work that my projects I'm working on. I'm working on a couple things right now that I need to actually, I need to plug on there. Yeah, and definitely. Be like, look, a sleeve. Can you yeah. guess which princess it is? Yeah, I love that. Is? She'll be like, she'll <laughs> throw us like a little article. What is this from? Or can you guys guess? And I'm like, people are all like trying to guess what it is. It's kind of a cool little guessing game there. You guys it's kinda... fun. People actually, they say they like it, so I keep doing it. It's like interaction with your fans too, you know? Exactly, like it's, yep. it's, it's, it's with anybody, you know, uh, like our podcast or like, you know, you're doing your thing or other people out here doing their boots. Like, it's all about appreciation of of your fans, like because people wouldn't be where they were without the fans. It's, you it's know, exactly it's, right. That's what we say here at the Happy Hour Giant Dudes. This is a podcast made by fans for fans, because like this is just two guys talking about stuff we love, and we love to have people with us because we feel like this is big camaraderie, like this big group, big big family. You know. Well, and the point of all this is community. In yeah. the end, this yep. all boils down to we are a community, and we are all here for each other to learn from each other and to also experience new things and find new inspiration or whatever you might get out of it it's all there it's there for the taking yeah. and everyone is super nice and welcoming right. i mean it's your own fault if you don't get out there and you don't become a part that's true that's true any final words for the audience um i guess you know thanks for being a part of the show uh uh keep watching and keep being involved and keep growing and Justice. Yes, and we'll be uh, we'll be hitting up uh, C L A I R because some people spell Claire with an E on the end, right? Yeah, no E on the end. No E on the end. So one, so once again, what was your uh, websites again? When it's like Facebook dot com mm-hmm. slash Wonder Woman Claire. C L A I R. No yes. E at the end. Okay. Awesome. So definitely hit her up on there and give her some love, and uh, we'll uh, catch you guys on the flip side. So uh, do you see anything else you want to say? Well, actually, I just have one quick question sure. for Claire because we know you love Wonder Woman. It's, it's your favorite. Yeah. W- what's your your second favorite uh, costume to cosplay? Oh, as? okay. Oh, see, see, we didn't. I didn't get to answer. Yeah, it's, that's true. I really can't pick a favorite because actually, one. It's not that Wonder Woman is my favorite. Yeah. It's that Wonder Woman is my most popular. popular. <laughs> uh, that's true. Good point. And I love that. It's great yeah, yeah, because yeah. when I first had my friend suggest it to me, yeah. it's just one of those things where I was like, wow, that's big shoes to fill. Yeah. Hopefully I can fill them. Right. And I feel I've done good. I got always gotten great reactions. I think one, one single time I had somebody walk past me and say, well, Wonder Woman's not that short. And I said, well, look at the Superman standing next to me. I think I'm pretty proportionate, you know? Yeah, true. So, Good but point. anyways, uh, I do so many. It's kind of just, they all have their great parts. I love all of it. Like every little piece, there's something that I love. And because I've made it all, I just love to put myself out there and see people's reaction of everything. Well, it's a part of you. It's an extension of who you are. Yeah. You're not yes. just Claire. You're not just Wonder Woman. It's everything. You are all one person. Well, don't tell people that. Facebook <laughs> says that I'm <laughs> everybody on Facebook. Oh, Wonder Woman. Oh, Wonder Woman. And all the Wonder Woman stuff on my Facebook page. It's like, Claire is gone. <laughs> <laughs> well, we believe you, Claire. You are Claire. <laughs> yep. And this it's is okay, what you though. do. Wonder Woman's awesome enough that that's fine. She can yeah. take over. Yeah. So. <laughs> We appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule as well as with Sci Fi oh, no. Saturdays Barto. So definitely hit her up on all of our social media and uh, tell her uh, the happy hour Johnny Deuce sent you. So have a good one, guys. See you. Later. <laughs>